What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Kelly G here and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my style evolution, how I went from this to this and kind of just share with you guys my style progression over the years. I have a whole thing written down here. I got a bunch of fits to share and I'm going to be roasting a couple of my old fits. I, I had like a hype beast phase sort of and I had like a a more fitness focused phase of my life. I had a more vintage phase, you know, and then more experimental. So I'm gonna get into that in this video today in hopes that you could maybe, you know, learn something from it, take away something, maybe even just have a laugh. I had to dig through the archives. I had to go on my Facebook. Who uses Facebook nowadays? I guess the video starts 2010 when I was like grade eight high school up until now, 24 years old, yeah. And I wanna say right before I get into it that in no way I'm like done my style evolution like I feel like I'm just getting started but I feel like I have come to a point where I'm very comfortable with my style and I'm also I'm comfortable trying uh, some crazy different styles and posting them and stuff like that so let's run it I was going back and I was looking at these outfits and I was like god damn let's see first one well I gotta share this 2010 one all right look at this photo this is like the first, the earliest pic I could find of like full body image. This was like my grade eight high school, getting into skating, sort of. Look at me and the boys, checkered backpacks. I'm in the middle there, I got the red beanie with the plaid backpack, skinny jeans on. I feel like I've always sort of been into clothes and trying different styles and stuff. Definitely early high school days, you know, skinnier jeans, we got the vans, we got the skate shoes, and there's the boys. Shout out to the boys, man. Next up, I'm skipping a bit and, and I'll come back to it when I get into the stages, but yo, look at this one. This is 2017. This is like a rock fit. I'm thinking I'm the rock. I got a turtleneck on with the chain on top, bro. This was New Year's. I was like, yo, I'm hot shit right now. We got the skinny jeans with the cuts, bro. This was the era of the, the ripped jeans, you know, big knee holes. I'm in the snow, bro. I got boots on too, so I'm like, I'm fly. Next up, man, same jeans here with the orange hat and the orange shirt underneath the black. I was like, yo, I'm matching. Like, dude, this is hard. New regime uh, long sleeve there, black vans on. I was like, yo, with the, with the nature background, dude. Next up, this was first year university, 2017 shit. Orange shirt, Adidas trackies on. We got the Stan Smith. The white socks coming up. And then, uh, bro, I'm wearing the same jeans. The same jeans, the same ripped jeans. I guess I love these ripped jeans. I used to always wear the, the cuff uh, at the bottom, you know, with the ankles popping out. With the Stan Smiths, I ripped through those Stan Smiths. You got the shirt coming out with the, with the little uh, cut at the bottom of the shirt. Adidas long sleeve, 2017 shit, carrying the pizza, captioned za with the pizza emoji. That's pretty funny. I'll roast more fits as I go along, but those are some main ones that I wanted to point out. So let's get into the stages. The first stage, I kind of explained it already. 2010, I just remember going to like Zoomies and buying the skate brands, you know, like Death Wish shirt, Girl was a brand I really liked, Girl Skateboards, Baker, Real Skateboards, I loved Real at the time, Toy Machine, I remember having a lot of Toy Machine, Independent Skateboards, so all these kind of brands. So moving on, um, 2013, Skate Phase, Big Time Skate Phase, this is grade 10 shit, you got the baggy pants, the khakis, skate shoes, I'm filming, I got the big shirt on, hat, you know what it is. Next stage, 2016. Okay, I was like starting to really get into the gym. You know, 2013, I was not, I was skinny as fuck. I was skinny. 2016, went to Europe, started getting ser serious about the gym before because I wanted to be jacked when I went to Europe. And so we got this photo, which is pretty funny. Me and the boys in Europe. A beater on, shorts, puffing my chest. That's when I was getting into like beaters and stuff like that. Just more like gym attire stuff. And then 2017, first year university, I moved to Montreal. Montreal, New York, Toronto. These places are way more fashion oriented than you know, like the West Coast. I mean, LA is a little bit, but New York is like the hub of fashion. And I feel like that's where I really got a lot of style inspiration and when I really started to get into fashion. By no means was I like a uh, rocking great fits because the ones that I roasted were 2017. We got the Kappa pants here, tight black shirt on, we got the clout glasses. I'm holding the beer, this is definitely like 
bathroom of a party or something. I'm, I'm feeling myself. So 2017, like I said, I started getting into fashion a little bit. I think it was the first time going to New York. My sister was there with me. Shout out to my sister. She's been a huge inspiration for fashion in my life. And I got this like Gosha uh, Fila collab, you know, back when Gosha was popping. And I think I sold it on Grailed after because I was broke <laughs> and I needed money. 2017, I was still in like my fast fashion stage. Like I was going to Zara, I was in, going to H&M. I was broke as fuck. So like I was spending my money on drinks at the club, you know, food, clothes, that's it. Like that's what I spent my money on. 2018, started messing with brands a little bit more. Uh, I was still wearing like tighter shirts. I was heavy into fitness, but I was kind of adding some swag. I will say throughout this entire period, since 2016 when I started getting serious about the gym, I, I was pretty much consistent with the gym all throughout. So uh, I was starting to get gains and I wanted to show them off. So 2018, okay. So as you can see here, clean outfit, you know, white shirt. We got just some blue jeans, little rip there. Air Max 97, silver bullets. I was super hyped on those to be honest. You can see places plus faces hat on. So I'm like starting to get into brands a bit more. I was always pretty interested in brands. I guess I was getting more like into the streetwear culture a little bit. Like never really into Supreme, honestly probably because I couldn't really afford it or even buy from the drops because they sold out so quick and I didn't want to pay resale. But uh, here, I'm in New York, I'm wearing a dime shirt. Those are like some Tommy Hilfiger shoes, Adidas pants, you know, doing more wide leg pants, <laughs> getting more into that. Flex and pick 2018, going out, tight shirt, watch, rings tighter pants, more fitted, you know. My boy's wearing a suit, so. So 2019, we're moving on. 2019, I was getting more into vintage clothing. I ended up dyeing my hair that year, as you can see here. This is a fire fit. I like this one. I'm at the airport. Yo, this one right here in New York, I was like, yo, let's get different. When you're in New York, it's just different energy, man. I live in the suburbs here in Vancouver, so. When you're in New York, when you're in Soho, walking around, everyone's just got crazy fits on. It really inspires you to like get out of your comfort zone, try new shit. So I was like, yo, I'm going in. And so I have these like neon green laces, I have this like green and black belt, got this Calvin Klein button up. Vintage puffer right here, guest puffer, I'm wearing like black pants, stuff like that. Yeah, more vintage, as you can see, vintage. Vintage shirts, Planet Hollywood shirt. Now this is 2019, you see Iron Maiden vintage shirt. Um, quads popping out, you know what it is, still it really into my fitness phase. And so now we move into 2020, okay? More vintage. I was wearing some higher end brands, like you, you can see Palm Angels, um, I got the JaVinci shorts. I was in my first uh, real year of running a business full time, I was doing a lot of fitness stuff, posting on social media, and also had my first clothing drop. So you can see here I'm wearing the Health Hustle hoodie. You can kind of see like the style evolution and getting more comfortable with my style and trying new things and you know, getting the proportions better and stuff like that. 2021, gym fits and sneaker phase. So I went through a sneaker binge phase. I was just buying a bunch of sneakers because I was making more money and I was like, I want to get more experimental with my fashion. I want to post more fashion content and therefore I need to have more pieces to showcase. And that's when I started doing gym fits and that's what really took off my TikTok and Instagram. I mean, I was training, I was online coaching, I was doing the fitness shit every day, but I loved fashion. So I was trying to find ways to incorporate fashion into the fitness stuff. Even with the brand that I'm building right now, is like that's the vision is to kind of blend the two together because I find that there was a big lack of that. I still feel like there is. I feel like 2021, I had a bit more time to focus more on fashion because I was diverting my content more towards that rather than like the fitness content. I was doing more fashion content. I guess to end off the video, I'm gonna share two or three of my favorite fits. <clears throat> Got the yellow, this was like summer too. Yellow, button up, pinstripe pants, dunks on. That was a good one from 2021. Um, I really like this one with the Cardinals jersey, the real tree pants, I was in Montreal. This one too, this was on my birthday. Dragon, button up. Pinstripe, I got the Jordan, uh, the Jordan 4s. This one was really sick in my opinion. I feel like that whole scene was dope with the trees and it was fall and I was wearing fall colors and everything. It was sick. And this was recent, this was in February. Kind of sweat, sweatsuit, tracksuit on, beanie. This one's one of my favorites too. I'm in the snow. Got the Avisu jeans on, the Jordan 4s, balaclava. That's that guys. I hope you guys liked the video. 
I hope you got some vibe, some good vibes from it. That was my intention. And uh, I just wanna say your style will always change over time. You have to get uncomfortable to, and try new things. You know, like go to the thrift store, try new pieces, you know, like get a pair of boots, get some sneakers, like try new shit because that's the only way you're gonna find your style. If you don't try things, if you don't get uncomfortable, then you're not gonna find your new style. So I'll probably do a video on like how to find your style, maybe give some tips and stuff. Keep trying new shit. Wear that shit with confidence, whatever it is. Don't give a fuck what people think. Yeah, I'll definitely make some more videos on uh, how to find your style, stuff like that. So if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Comment, you know what to do. Thank you guys so much for your support and everything. Much love, and I will talk to you in our next video. Peace out.